Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first episode of... Actually, it doesn't really have a fucking name, so we're going to start off with who we are. I'm your host, Cheesy Lemming, and today I am joined by Alistair. Hello. And Tommy. Hey. So, what the fuck are we going to call this podcast? We've, we've already got into it, we haven't even discussed the topic, but we don't have a name. So, I have come up with a few suggestions, and I'd like to see which one you guys think would be a good one. Right. So, the first name I had in mind. Custard and Jam. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some sort of sexual thing. Custard and Jam. Hello oh, there, welcome Christ. to Custard and Jam. The poor it's not podcast. that bad, it's, it's just Custard and Jam. I don't know why I put that in there, actually. That one was kind of a goof thing. But, yeah. <laughs> All right. The second one is Cheesy Podcast. Which huh. I think everyone here had mentioned at one point, which is completely unoriginal, but... It's, it's, simple. it's, a, bit, it's a bit less yeah. spectacular than you know, custard, custard and Jam. Custard and Jam, you know, it could go places. And finally, Vexed. I thought that was a pretty good one. <laughs> that sounds gonna be getting a so much like you're just ripping off baited, not gonna lie. What? Vexed? <laughs> what could have called well the whole... Uh, uh, fuck it, we'll call the podcast Weed. <laughs> We're literally gonna call this podcast what? Weed for today. Weed. Hello, yeah. welcome great to Weed. weed adventures. Yeah, welcome oh, to Weed, everyone. Weed you're Hello, listening to, to the weed. first episode of the Weed podcast, and All today's right. subject is about Snapchat. Now, we're going to start these podcasts off with a bit of a question. So, I'm going to ask the very first one today in this first episode. Is Snapchat the new worst social media ever? Is my question. What are your thoughts, guys? That depends. Do you class YouTube as a social media yet? With its upload of photos and its, you know, like to dislike with photos. and It's it's just... It's 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 basically a social media now. It's like trying so hard... it's, yeah, it's fa- YouTube ridiculous. really wants to be a social media, but it's it's not quite yet. It's a platform, but it's definitely not social media. I think Snapchat's probably the worst because I think Google it's becoming is... really toxic. Who? Snapchat. But why is it toxic? Right. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go, boys. For starters, here's one of the things that really fucks me off. You're going to the club. You're with your friends. You get decide to whip out your phone. Oh, look, it's a 20-minute Snapchat story of you in the club. And the fact is, the story they know is so boring. It's so fucking boring that they have to move the camera up and down to make it more interesting. No, that doesn't make it more interesting. You're just making me feel seasick. It's a shit, shit fucking story. No one cares that you're at the club. Grow up. I always do that, to be fair. What's wrong with yeah, that? you do. You did that on yeah. New Year's. You were like... You, basically, you, you, know, you, you were wanna, in for You New just years. want to show people where you are. You're like... Your mum could see it, you know? She'd be like, oh, Tom's at the club. Why have fun. you got your mum on Snapchat? Do you send news? <laughs> Mate, who doesn't? Who's saying? <laughs> oh, normal people. No, you, you nah. spent New Year's Do you have club. webbed feet? <laughs> no, if you think about it, when you go to the club, you want to, like, show you having fun, you know? If you just stand still, it looks like you're a bit bored. <clears throat> Gimme. Or, like, what? you jump in. It's just, these are like simple one on one rules, mate. That's just how it is. Tommy wiggles his phone around to make his life look more interesting. When you're like at a club, you don't stand still like you're a fucking statue, do you, mate? You look like a fucking weirdo. You've got to like fucking jump a bit, haven't you? And when you're, you can't exactly keep your phone still. You're not like some fucking cameraman, are you? But why do you have to take so long? Like, I can take three seconds by looking at your story to realise you're at the club. Not 300. Why do you have to upload so many fucking videos? Because you just want to show where you are, you know? I, like, give people a feel of the atmosphere, right? If I go to the park, I take a picture of the fucking park. If you don't, park, if you don't want to see people at the approval. club, don't look at, their sto- look at the stories of people at a club. Uh, actually, I've got quite a few old ladies on my Snapchat, and they love the pictures of the ducks I upload. Oh, One yes. of them's your nan, by the way, Tommy. Definitely ducks. My nan's dead. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm so sorry. Jokes are not. Sorry, <laughs> not my so nan is actually on Facebook as well. Fuck. <laughs> oh, mine isn't. She doesn't believe in that social media crap, thank god. Does she believe in Jesus? Yeah, but she just doesn't like social media. A story for another day. <laughs> Secondly, right, here's my second point. Like, I'm gonna go on my Snapchat right now. I'm gonna look at my stories and I'm gonna see. Uh, the very f- there we go, right? People venting on Snapchat. Fuck off. 
<laughs> just deal with your problems by talking to someone. You have to put so pissed off, no replies. Here's a tip: but, just but, don't reply. I have this. I have this. We do know people like that, don't we, Asta? Yeah, we do, cheesy. I have it on good authority, as in I looked at my own Snapchat. You, you've repeatedly uploaded stories such as "It's so sick of fake friends." When? I think it was about three weeks ago. What? Two years ago? No, recently, twenty eighteen. Oh no, I was doing. That, I was doing that as a spoof. Mm. I don't. I was doing it as a spoof. I, I also, I also, three months ago, did uh, I, IG recent or something like that with an X next to it. <laughs> I'm genuinely just trying to prove how annoying it is, and everyone calls me out because everyone took it really serious. Kind of, kind like, of. Everyone's like, "Where's your new Instagram picture, you cretin?" I don't upload very often. I'm not, I don't do my stories much. You know, to be fair. No, but you my just stories are always recently. quality though. Your I stories are literally it. always just you jumping up and down in a club. Oh, yeah, the they're trolley. really fucking over shit. The trolley. Over the trolley. Oh yeah, no, the trolley stories are always good. Trolley, trolley you, stories. You play are around quality. with the trolley, you're some kind of chav. Oh, oh yeah, fuck yeah. Me and Josh killed two together. Like we joined in the murder spree. Yeah. Now in the river med my. Med but is that, is that to does that total three then? But yeah, well no, I'm not sure. you've shoved into it's various one, water sources. Yes. What an absolute mistake. If only you think about it, I'm feeding the river. I hope your parents hear this podcast. Oh, fuck yeah. They think, <laughs> they, they think it's in Sainsbury's at the moment. The and if Tommy's parents are listening, no, he doesn't have incestual urges. He does that to everybody. Yeah, especially what? his man. Anyway, so my third what have point. I done? Anyway, shut the fuck up. Thank you. Third point <laughs> uh, is um, right. This is a bit of more of a personal thing, so some people may get offended here. Um, oh, and, dear. and I, I think we should just clarify from the start. Um, um, I don't care. So it's people who post on their Snapchat stories and they go, like, I really miss you, Nan. I really miss you, Uncle or Granddad or whatever. Someone passed away, but they're like, they're not saying that they miss their grandparent. They're talking to them. And they're using their Snapchat story as a medium to, like, get sympathy. Like, they'll upload three years after someone's died, really missing you right now. And they're talking to them. This is something so sincere. This is something really deep. And, you know, this is a real connection between the person and the person who's lost. And it has no place being on my timeline. There's no place something that heartfelt being one-on-one -on, -one on my timeline. Like, it's fucking disgusting. Get that shit off. It's been such a long time. I'm months. confused. What's, what's wrong with that? It's like if you're just gonna say I really miss my granddad right now more than anything, I will be like, Why? Oh, maybe damn. you want, maybe you just do, and you want to tell people you do. Like... Yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. But when they're saying stuff like, "Granddad, I hope you're proud of me. I'm doing everything I can right now just to make you happy," like that shit, that's that. No, that you're talking to the person. This I is, think this I feel like place. I feel like the only problem you're gonna get is I feel like all these problems can be easily fixed by just like clicking, not just clicking, tapping the screen so it goes away. Like, yeah, but I, I don't, don't have to watch I, I will read it. You know that, right? I'm curious by yeah, nature. Curious by nature. If you upload a story, I'm probably going to read it. Unless it's well, like one of those I guess videos. It is nice, though. It's not like it's like a... <sighs> I just basically want to say, yeah, respect to my family members that are dead or whatever. Yeah, but if your family members are dying, you're saying, like, I don't know how I cope without this person. That's fair enough. But when you're, like, saying, Uncle, Uncle Terry, life hasn't been the same without you. I hope you're having great times up there. Like, no, you're not talking to Uncle Terry. Uncle Terry is six feet under. You're talking to Snapchat story. You are talking to your friends when you do that. You're not talking to the dead person. Like, why would you have to... You could just say that. Fucking say it out loud. Don't take a picture of it and put it on your Snapchat story, you goon. Because, like, the next Snapchat story will be you at the park with your mates. Like, wee, squad. Like, excuse me. Are you, are you choosing to talk to your friends or your dead granddad? Maybe they want their friends to know, like, they want some, like, they're obviously like, feeling a bit down or something, they want. If they're feeling down, just say, I'm feeling down because I lost this person. Don't maybe start they, talking to the maybe deceased. Maybe they want their friends and, Yeah, but some people, people don't like, people don't like to miss it straight up, do they? Like, what is this fucking actual... medium shit from Town of Salem? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they want their friends to know that, um, just before they get absolutely fucking baked, they think of their deceased relatives. Tommy thinks of his deceased relatives, but that's just before he has a wank. <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> actually, I actually only have one deceased relative at the moment. Would you like another? Well, one. Um, 
Trump play spin you the know- bottle. <laughs> spin the bottle in your relative's fate. I don't need a sensu for that one. Mm. But, but the only thing this... you're going to get out of this is me putting stuff on my Snapchat story. You're going to actually, you're going to go out of your way <laughs> to become wait. a bigger detriment <laughs> to society. He's going to go out of his way just to piss you off and antagonize yeah. you on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it every day. Do you two even have each other on Snapchat? No. I... Oh. I, 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 I've got so many accounts now. I have like five million. Right. Here's another thing. Okay. Point number four. I will probably do five or six of these. But point number four now. Uh, people uploading... Oh, okay, this is to all the basic bitches out there saying, take me back on your story because you had a fucking four-day holiday in Spain with your friend. Hey, be Mate, quiet. Your holiday week, cost £400. Was the realest shit I've ever been to, okay? No, no, no. no. When you're going out with, like, these basic bitches, they put on their story, like, oh, take me back. Oh, and they post that for the next three years. Like, love, your holiday cost £400. Just go back. <laughs> <laughs> Completely rip that from my Facebook timeline, but yeah, you get the point. It's a valuable message, you know. We don't need to know that you want to go back to fucking, you know, Spain or Disneyland. Just go back and take more pictures. That's fine. I've got no no beef with that. Right. I was actually about to analyse my Snapchat story, but it's just fucking crashed. Oh, crashed one plus to to let you down when it matters most. Yeah, exactly. You know. Oh, OnePlus, you do so many things right, but Snapchat, it's just, it's fucking hit or miss. Tell me, what do you think of the Take Me Back uh, timeline posts? I actually never really looked at them, to be fair. Oh, fair you enough. never look at them, or you don't know they exist? A mix. How, wait, what? How can you know and not know? <laughs> How is it a blend? It's like, well, I know they're there, I know but it. I don't know they're I, like, I know they're there, but at the same time, I don't. Because, like, you know when you, like, know something's there? Do you mean, do you, mean you don't know? But you just don't know how to, like... You just don't really ever think of going to access it. Is it. You kind of like don't notice it at the same time. What you're saying is you don't notice it, basically. No, I notice it. I just don't use it. What? We've also got a bit of a problem with like gym girls now. Oh. I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah. Like, if you go to, okay, right, there's two types of gym girls I found on Snapchat. Um, there's the one gym girls that just do cardio. Like they go, they say gym. And you're just going on the fucking running machines. Like no, go for a run. Uh, and they've also got the other people that, you know, the, the the girls that lift. They have to let you know that they're female and that they lift. Like, you know, it's really impressive. You're really be, breaking the chains of oppression there. Good to job. To be fair, the cardio people, at the time we're recording, it is January. In the UK, quite cold in January. And I've had to go on a run. It's also quite rainy. Well, you've eaten a lot of that. Christmas dinner. I feel dinner. like your problem with Snapchat is just people uploading, like, their own fault. It's like just doing, really, it's and you're just, just annoyed really... and you're not doing it yourself. I feel like this. Sort of... I don't want to be at the fucking gym doing cardio. But Cardi's I feel, for wins. But I feel, I feel like, like the whole point of the Snapchat stories is just if people want to announce what they're doing, that's yeah. that's the whole point. It's literally just saying I'm doing this right now, or I'm here. They're not there for like, like they're not meant to be like philosophical insights into something. Breaking news, KFC will have, KFC will like, have stories in 2018. There's other stuff like that on Snapchat, mm. like the new stuff and shit. Like, I don't know, probably some inspiration for it, Finn. Why does everyone like... eat at Mackey's, by the way? This is cheap. It's nice. Mackey's is nice, but it's like it's the only food place I like... ever see people eating. It's cheap. But like, it's easy. The thing Mackey's I hate about Snapchat... Lux, luxurious. I hate, on, I hate the fucking Discover bit. All that fucking celebrity gossip bullshit. Oh, well, yeah. I actually quite like I, I fucking hate Discover. I, it's alright, to be fair. Really? Just, I'm only on it for IGN and brother. Because it's because it's because it's all it is, it's, it's, I'm always there by mistake. You always my phone's laggy and I swipe right to get to people's stories and it's like, oh, did you mean to swipe right twice and reach discover? And then you get the whole fucking page floods with discover. Look, brother, IGN yeah, is Kylie is that. Kylie fading from the spotlight deliberately because she's pregnant? Oh, conspiracy about Kim fucking who cares Kardashian. Oh, did you see that? Okay, what one is it that does like the really, really tacky? Is it like the, the news rundown or something? Buzzfeed. Like... No, 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 not Buzzfeed. I just I I've, I've mentally blocked that app out. <laughs> Fair it's enough. Mash- Mashable. Mashable's just posted a new uh, story. Their, their article title is, "Money finally grows on trees." What? This actually their fucking title. Money. Is that they realised that money was made from paper, which is a product of trees. 
Cosmopolitan. Ten of the grossest things all girls do in the shower. Number one, have a big wet stoppy shit. Countdown to the Grammys. Is Cardi B going to win or nah? Buzzfeed, are you a bad texter? But look, okay, I'm not even going to look at my phone. One of you have Snapchat out. Here we go. Daily Mail. They are talking about either a Kardashian or a celebrity with a nice figure. Bella's sexy flash. The Telegraph. The sturdy darts actually? could cost the UK tourists one year in prison. Right. The next one will be about a Kardashian. I, I shit you not. The What's sun. The next? Charlotte breaks down in the street. Cosbear won't stop pounding her. Am I the only one that... Do- okay, that sounds really fucking you know, verbose. Vice. But... Vice. How trying to get abs ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is this one of those kebabs over abs? Oh, this is a good one. MTV, post. do you really know what sexual consent is? I actually fucking give up. Like, I'm just on the, I'm looking at the uninstall button on Snapchat right now, and it's really fucking tempting. Oh, okay. So what he did is he decided on that gimmick thing. You know, one of these body transform get abs in eighty days. But why? Just go to the fucking gym. And then so fat he, what happened is um, he stopped because it hurt. And it took he didn't stop a, because it, it hurts. It took up, no one would ever have took, sex it, it ever in their life. Took up a lot of his time. Um, so he stopped seeing his friends because he was working out so much, and then he was in immense pain. So he was hurt emotionally he, too. Because he couldn't keep. Does, does he know about rest days? Never. You should it always take like rest went, days. It sounds to me like you went to the gym eighty days straight. Tommy, what do you think about this? Given you're our signature gym lad. I don't go gym. It was a joke. Oh, no, I just don't go gym. You know, <laughs> that's like not like him. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking gap. Oof. Oh. No, oh, Tommy, you did. You did. Um, you did rugby for a couple of years. You're. You were. Well, a, you're the as, fucking rugby as, ball. As um, we'll we'll mm. name him. Um, fuck it, Ricky. As Ricky said, mm-hmm. you were a semi-athlete, apparently. Whatever the fuck a semi-athlete is. For Tommy, did you like? Did you like whipping each other in the showers <laughs> with your wet shirts? Oh no, there's no showers. It was just a pub. <laughs> what? You didn't play pub rugby. You played for the um for the yeah, local but there's team. A pub, there's a pub next to it, you know. So you are off to the train, you go to the pub with your dad. If this isn't the showers, why are you taking your shirt off? I think that's why my dad made me come. To be fair, no, there was no showers. <laughs> you literally used to just go there. It, like if it was like proper way, you just go back home and have a bath. It was so cold though. Sometimes, like I remember, like coming back and like getting in the bath, and the bath got cold because I was like so cold myself. Temperature go down. Like, I'm cold, cold Steve was, Tommy over here. Like, you know when you're like, going something really hot and you're really cold? It feels cold still. But you're like cooling down the water because you're so cold. Like that. This is getting a bit much. We're going off topic. Back a little to bit. Snapchat. Okay. Okay, if you can justify those. All right. Okay, first of all, very impressive. Um, second of all, people uploading pictures of themselves with no caption. Can we just agree that that is just proof Snapchat is one of the most vain social media outlets you can use? What, yeah. what, what happened, sorry? I mean, oh Instagram. I, I've got Instagram, and I'm well aware Instagram is for the vain. And I have a bit of a vain moment every now and then. Like you, every you know, now If you don't then. have one, if you don't have one, then you're a fucking liar. Because if you've got Instagram and you say you're not vain, either A, you're using a private account to wank over people's pictures that you know, which, to be honest, I know a few people that have done that. And, uh... Or B, you know, you simply just want to show off your bod or your face. I have uploaded uh, one relatively decent looking picture of myself within the last year. Really? Yeah, that's not a joke. The other's just like uh, when I got a new <clears> work <throat> contract or it's a cuddly toy Spider-Man or when we got a cat or uh, me looking pretty ugly or a meme or... On Christmas Day, I uploaded a picture of slippers. Why, Why did you do this? A picture of slippers? Well, it was better looking than me. Right. I, I just... That, co- that cosy vibe, isn't it? Slippers. And on Christmas Day, keep warm. Slippers, I don't know. Well, we've learned a lot in a little amount of time. Yeah, I great. kind of wish I haven't. So, there you go. Congratulations. You've broken me emotionally. But yeah, Snapchat is, you know, you put captions on. 
But if you're going to just put a picture of yourself on Snapchat, like with no caption, we 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 I think we it's all agree pointless. on this one. It is. Well, maybe you just want to like. Vain. Maybe you're just like on people's reply are like like a mystery thing. Like you post a picture. No, if you want a mystery, no mystery, if you want a mystery thing, you do one of those um Sahara Sarah Sanaras. Oh yes, Sarah. Sarah, you get anyway, those. You get, you get all these anon questions like, "I miss you." Pop up, and ninety percent of the time, it's just your mates trolling you. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you I'm get thinking. Seven, I'm thinking like they maybe they do it because they don't have a caption. They they just want to post it. Like they want to post a picture of themselves. Yeah, but you're oh. saying that it maybe if it's you a post mystery. a picture of yourself, what do you run in caption though? But it's it's not really a mystery because like you you're leaning maybe over, you're posing. You've got your fucking knockers out. There's no mystery left. I can see. Or everything. maybe they accidentally put a, put a story and so I sent a message to people. But then accident. they delete. Then they take it down. Maybe they just forget. Yeah, or when someone uploads a picture and says, "Not sure." Yes, you are. You fucking <laughs> press <laughs> send to it. story. There's nothing to be unsure be about. But there are some dumb people in the road, you know. You're always gonna get there wherever yeah. you are. I don't think that's like a Snapchat specific thing. That's just like a general thing. Dumb people. Yeah. Also, dumb millennials. Why do people scribble out their face I do on that. Snapchat? Why do you do that? Why I've is never had weird? that. Because some some people genuinely just don't like their face, or they're like, "Oh, I'm having a bad looking day." But I've not I even had get, that. I need I need to do this thing for some reason. What the fuck? You're on Snapchat. You're <laughs> taking a selfie. I've you don't never like done your it. Face. Don't fucking take it. Well, I've never done it on my story, but it's been like when I'm chatting to somebody, and I, but I suppose that's different to posting it on the story. Also, don't be silly. You don't chat to anyone. You've got a girlfriend. Yeah. And you've got me. We're all you need. Alright. Fucking hell. Yeah, you can't talk to anyone else, so I'll get really upset and jealous. Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, you're the only exception. What, you're sorry? gay. Fuck off. I'm not gay. <laughs> it's a well-known fact that you're the, you guys are the gay ones. What? Don't insult me and my boyfriend. Yeah, you, you tell him, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck, this is not funny. I've done like nothing to deserve this hate. <laughs> this has just come out of nowhere. Is it right, Tommy? We know you feel genuinely attacked. How to break the... Tommy 101. Tell him he's gay. <laughs> That's it. I'm not broken, I'm just like, I don't understand it, you we know? We should post one of those new Instagram polls, which is one of the uh, more, you know, I like things it. About it. Yeah, I think it's quite interesting. Yeah, it's a good feature. We should do an Instagram poll. Do you think Tommy is gay? We should. Also, we'd like to clarify for the podcast's sake, you know, and that we don't get ripped away from the internet. There's nothing wrong with being gay. Just don't be a fag. There you no, go. There's nothing wrong with being a gay unless you're hitting on me or my son. Mm. <laughs> or your son. You might have a daughter. Ah, eh, well... Does your daughter know the way? Do not do it. I had a filter for that on Snapchat. Yeah, you enough. did. You said you were going to send it to me. No, anyway, we're getting off topic. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> what a troll. Anyway, so. Last criticism of Snapchat. What well, annoys me about Snapchat, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's like a legit criticism. Mm-hmm. Is when you add someone. Yeah. It doesn't add them back automatically. Like you got, they've got to add you back. Yeah, that, that's really annoying. Like, can't you just like be like a group, like add add? Like, you know, I don't know. Just... If I've added someone by name and they don't know if I've added them, then they are stuck with me being able to view all. But their then stuff. again, but then again, when you add like people like you know celebrities, for example, say Kevin Hart, or I don't know if you're a dick oh, yeah, from you KSI, add, you can actually. You, I forget because they don't because you know they don't want to have all their millions of fans added them back automatically. But the thing is, well, they could but have. It could be a feature because it can't be a feature you turn on or like, auto add back. I guess it could be a feature that you could turn on for you. Can you actually follow celebrities on Snapchat. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I follow Kevin Hart. I follow Philip it. Schofield. I actually, I didn't realize that. I actually didn't know you could do that. I just thought you could yeah. follow like random people if you wanted to, but I didn't realize you could. No, you could follow like footballers and well, or celebrities, it goes without saying, yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we all need to just, you know, agree. Snapchat was made for nudes. Oh, oh yeah. It's a fucking, you know, it, it's the skin it's a, hub. It's, 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 a, it's <laughs> a site where you can send time disappearing self-deleting photos and videos it's it's nude hub it's nude hub 
I like it. Nude chat. Nude chat. Snap wang. In chat. Anything to add to this, Tommy? Oh, fuck. Well, that's I great, don't... everyone. I Thank you. You I just listened out. to the first episode of, <laughs> of <laughs> Weed. Weed. Right, this isn't really going to be called that. Uh, probably not, but you know, I'm doing it for the vine. Well, that I'm, I'm was so fucking, fucking dreadful. Stale. Anyway, Buying thank you all for listening. Soon. Oh, God. Well, this has been pretty good. Have any of you changed your outlook on Snapchat in any way? No, I didn't really have a problem with it in the first place. <laughs> I feel like it was just them. a youth thing. I've not, I've not really changed my perspective on anything today, but I feel like... Uh, right, this podcast I feel like you're fucking com- 10 you're, minutes. You're com- <laughs> it's only been 10 minutes. Your, complaint, got- your complaints are literally just every, any, something you'll get any other social media thing. Like, I feel like you could find people like that in every other social media we, thing. We have stories now on on um, Facebook like, and Instagram. People who which... talk about their dead, dead family on Facebook. People who post stuff, weird stuff about being at no, the gym on Facebook. No, you can post Facebook. that, it's fine. It's just when you're saying, like, to them, like, I really miss you. Yeah, they do that on Facebook as well. It's on, on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> on Facebook. I feel like all these problems you're saying are, like, Snapchat related, just social media related. It's not really a... It's not really a phenomenon Snapchat has on its own, you know, people just do that generally. I, w- I wouldn't call it the worst. I think the worst is probably like, I don't know, some kind Tumblr. of news. Do you feel, the worst is probably Twitter, just because I don't use it. Well, Twitter is sort of designed for that, you know, hey guys, take a shit kind of frequency and, and updates. Like, it's, see, it's, Twitter it's, it's, it comes just, with a shorthand nature I, don't, I never use Twitter, so that's why I don't like it. I don't use it too often, but I think it's generally you may not think that's a legit point, random point of a bit of shit. But the I'm, problem with Twitter is that it doesn't, like, I don't understand what you use it for, like, what's the point of it? Is it just Facebook statuses, but just statuses instead of, like, a timeline? I don't get it. I think it's a weird concept. I quite like Twitter, actually. I think it's quite interesting. I think it's boring. <laughs> Alright. Heat to each their own. Each, heat to each their own, did you say? Each their own. I was but thinking it, Twitch. Twitch weird. is basically the new YouTube, anyway. It is. Yeah, everyone's leaving it for it. Everyone's leaving YouTube, except the Weed Podcast. Catch us in. Uh, whenever Catch us this in. goes out. Whenever I can be fucked. Probably 50 it. years. Yeah. I mean, I am just currently trying to get my current video out. It's about MC Tempo, by the way. Uh, if, if all you uh, people who know me in real life, uh, first of all, don't comment my address, you cretin. And second of all, yes, it's on MC Tempo, the guy from uh, secondary school days. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, please <laughs> stop giving me flashbacks. <laughs> flashbacks to Nam. Yeah, but I don't know. Snapchat's just. Mm, I feel like it's a really useful, like it's a really fun social media. It's a fun one to use. It's fun, but it is just really, really toxic. Like it's really toxic. The stuff I see on my stories, I just want to skip. Yeah, but you people anyway. Are you like get, ten stories every day. You find day. toxic people in every platform. Yeah, but oh, I don't have. There. I think in in Facebook I can scroll past it. I can choose not to look at it. But you in can, Snapchat, yeah, you, I, on Snapchat you can do the exact same thing. Can you no, just no, that was a really it. nice yawn, Tommy. You want to say that again when you're not you can yawning. literally <laughs> click the screen. You tap the screen, it goes away like that. Yeah, but, but I, don't, I have to actually them, click though. it. I have to interact with it by clicking it. It you actually have to forces interact me with the to look at it. You have to actually scroll down with the face. The exact same. A similar level of interaction. To be in fair. fact, it's probably it takes longer to probably scroll than it does to tap. Nah. Okay, here's the thing. I may have just discovered a bonus dislike for Snapchat, right? I've seen this by a few people. Whenever they get a child in close proximity, that like they're babysitting or something, or they've got their little cousin coming over and stuff, I don't want to see your cousin 50 times, mate. I couldn't, I don't, I mean, it's great. You're having a good time? You no, know, with your cousin, you're having a good time, good relationship with them. I'm happy for you. I mean, I'm really happy for you. Like, congratulations. Not many people get that. But I don't care. Get it off my Snapchat timeline. I don't need 50, 50 videos all of the same thing. Oh, look, it's your cousin. What's she doing? She's walking. Um, she's having a drink. She's really cute, yeah. Please oh, show well, me more. Just, she's just showing, like... She just, like, thinks she wants to show people her cousin because she thinks it's cute, you know? Okay, right. Three just people on like Snapchat let their cousins, like their little animals. baby cousins, or whatever they are, their little uh, person living with them, they let them walk around butt naked. And they're like... What are you about? This one's, uh, what? Without, oh, name, without naming any people, there's one person I actually messaged on Snapchat about it. Just call her Susan. Her, yeah, Susan. So I'm letting Susan 
uh, on, on my Snapchat uh, timeline. I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck? This is a bit messed up. So I'm just saying, look, why is your five to six year old cousin walking around naked? And why are you putting it on your Snapchat? Oh no, she's probably about four actually. <laughs> it's a bit extreme by five or six, but like, yeah, she's about four years old and she's completely naked on her Snapchat story. And every time I see her on her Snapchat story, every time, you she's in her underwear. She's in like nothing but her her nappy. And I'm just like, dude, you know, this is this is too much. Like you, like this person, this child is clearly never dressed whenever you're around. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a legit story. Like she walks around in a nappy and she's been... And like, she films well, it every the, time. What, the babysitter? Or the baby? I think, I think they're related. Because I think she lives with them. But this child is always walking around naked. <laughs> or it's in their fucking underwear. And it's like, please, cover your fucking... Susan, sort yeah, out your child. Susan, I feel your like you're only, worried, you're only getting a bit worried about this, mate. It's because you get a boner when you see a child. And you're like, <laughs> you, you are one fuck. sick cunt. Like, fuck me. Oh, shit. I, oh, Snapchat, what are you doing, mate? You're revealing me as a nonce. Oh, in fair, Snapchat, in fairness, you're Susan the does need to learn to clothe um, her or whoever's child it is uh, Relatively soon, please, Susan. Well, it's her at your age. It's not exactly sexualized, yet, is it? Fucking hell. Okay, not... here we You're go. You're the just mentioned it getting a bow now. Here we I'm go. I'm saying, Peter. I've got, the, I've got the video up. She's Her child's jumping around completely naked, right? She's done an emoji of a love heart covering up her fucking pussy. Oh. Her fucking three to four year old pussy. And Oof. she's like, her, I said, does she not have any clothes in your hut? To which <laughs> Susan replied, no, I just changed her nappy. She didn't want to put clothes on. I said, what? <laughs> but that's a child. She can't be naked. That's grim. You know, she's three. Well, she, she's so probably training as well. She can do what she wants. She's fucking naked. It's and so, she's on the Snapchat story legal, shaking her bum around and her fucking undeveloped titties. I don't Mate, want to see that. It doesn't matter, <laughs> though. She's, like I said, it's undeveloped. It doesn't matter, does it? Like there's, all, I've seen like those. I see there's always naked children, you know. That sums up there's all fucking naked life, mate. <laughs> like my cousins Who always do you naked. Follow where there are no, frequently, no, uplo no. frequently <laughs> uploaded naked children. Now my cousin, my cousin, <laughs> your cousin. Wait, I used to like. I used to. I used, me, me and my cousins like. I used to like. Send like, naked bathe children. Bathe my cousin. You used like, to bathe your cousin. <laughs> like. Like, I think you that... summed up your obsession perfectly <laughs> earlier, Tommy, when you said undeveloped doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. It's your fucking well, like, life motto. There is nothing wrong with like a child naked at, when they're young age because they're like they're, there's nothing like they, they haven't developed anything. So it's I understand like, your like, point, features. Tommy, but also you're not making yourself sound good. No, it is fine. What is wrong with an undeveloped child? Like, no, I'm not going to comment on that because they might be some serious precautions. It's a bit weird they go on the fucking street and start being naked, isn't it? But in their own house, it's fine. Or, like, like with people that they trust. If they're on the street, then that is a bit weird, mate. That's just fucking, like, weird. But, like, apart from that, it's fine, yeah? But I was just like, please, cover your child. She's like, no, she doesn't want to put a shirt on. Well, that's fine. Then fucking film it. It's a, guide, it's, a guide, it's a guide to modern day feminism, is what it is. Here we go. Right, this is for another day. Yes, it is. We will be going into this topic eventually. We'll gradually Please, get a I can't more. wait. Oh, I can't either. I'm itching at the sight to hate women. I think it has almost been half an hour now. I think Jeez. we've dragged this out enough. Almost. Have we actually done it? I don't know. I remember looking at and seeing it 10.40. It's now 10.15. So it might have dragged it out. I've looked at Snapchat. Right, and I've just been, I've just reconfirmed what I already believed. Right. People put up this Sarah or whatever it is, right, and they, they <laughs> scribble out the criticisms. They're the interesting bits. Yeah, I want to hear the criticisms. The people who are like, you're a fat fucking faggot, and it's just scribbled yeah. out. I don't like, want to see that. I want to see the moment your heart plummeted on your Snapchat story, please. I don't want to hear, send nudes. My mate thinks you're fit. But he doesn't want to say anything. <laughs> what like, are you on about now? <laughs> what is this chat? I really think like you just hate social media generally. Arrows. I feel like Snapchat is like today. unfair abuse at the moment. Things were better. Just, in this you age. just hate people. Just hate these certain people on like social media. The ones who just get on your nerves. Nah, to be I, fair, Sarah is kind of kind of funny. It's it's like it's it's kind of retarded. It's like Ask FM. Would you rather? Right. The thing is, you, you can make all these complaints, but the next day you're going to be on it, looking at the shit again, and be like, 
you probably get joy out of seeing this stuff, you know, like, it angers you, but... It's like, it's, like, it's like going to work, it's just part of the routine at this point. Like, no, people, I hate it. That's you, why I'm making a video. If on people, it. if you don't want to see people, mate, just fucking block them. If you're that worried about it, if it bothers you that much, just block them. Yeah, but if you, is, if I you like these people in real life, friends. mate, <laughs> they're not gonna know. Rich. You don't know if someone blocks you. It's not like it appears on their wall. Like, they're not gonna know you blocked them. They'll be like, oh, you never know. Or you could just literally just not look for their shit. Just like turn off their posts. Like, there's one kid right. Who's used to spam like this autistic shit like into the into my wall? He's one of them kids you know just always posts on Facebook because he has like no level of self control. But did you not once use? Did we not used to use Facebook posting as a form of messaging each other because apparently yeah. sending messages yeah, but was we too were, like, fucking we were, we were twelve then. Mm. Anyway, as I'm saying, I had just turned off his posts. I'm not blocked. Just turned his posts off. And I never saw that cancer shit again. I was happy. I'll tell you what, though, people that post stuff like, God, this is the worst day ever, or, oh, not in the mood, or just fuck you as a status, and then someone comments, huh. and it's like, what's you. up? Huh. Caught out. No, they actually Can't fucking message them. They message them saying, what's up? And uh, they like, say, don't, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk oh, about yeah. it. People that do that need to be fucking cast. Yeah, them people are, like, really weird. But like, uh, Stop reading, you're not worried. They're just weird, you know, you can just look and be like, what the fuck, but... Don't waste your mind thinking I've about how dumb they now. are. There are just dumb people like that. Like, you will know one. Let me see if I can find this post on social media from them. Of all people, uh, um, Tommy's ex-girlfriend, the ever-beautiful um, uh, Sarah Jane Connor. Uh, see if I can find oh. it here. We're using aliases. Uh, it says, don't oh, you yeah. hate it when someone flat out lies to you, but they don't know you know that they're lying. Hashtag caught out. Hashtag liar. Hashtag failure. At the time of that post, um, Sarah Jane Connor was well into her 18th year of living and therefore a fully grown woman. That's it. That's how I like what? my girls. Why? Why the fuck are you posting this sort of Hashtag caught out, hashtag liar, hashtag exposed, hashtag doxed, sort of, you know, crap. This is getting sickening. Social media, who, who fucking cares? And it's such a, it's so, like, it's indirect, and the per- the chances are, if you just like this person this much, you've not got them, or they're not following you, and then they're not going to see it, so who, who is it addressed to? Mm-hmm. You, does the world need to know that you're fucking Sherlock Holmes, really? Sorry about this, guys. I'm seeing the I feel like they crisps. want to be sassy, and they just don't really realise that everyone's going to see it at the time. They just like want to target them. The see, this is like it's like some sort of like fucking like um. I feel like this is just like some sort of girl thing that we just think, boys don't understand. The, the female enigma. Like they just want. They want. It's like they got some group from. They got like always like when they like find out some deep Sass- shit. They got like they're like fucking politicians, you know. They're playing. Well, you games. know what the solution is to all this. We get a female on the fucking podcast. Um, my, my sister. <laughs> Tommy, no, Tommy, we don't bring rape victims on podcasts. <laughs> true, true. Uh, it was some fucking Indian this time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We're already going on to the whole street shitting thing, All right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, nah, bring, um, let's bring Daisy Ridley onto the podcast. I wish. And ask her about Mary Sue's. No, I'm I'm just gonna ask her to <laughs> fucking marry me. You guys are weird. She's hot. I said Mary Sue's man. It's a Star Wars plot related thing. Tell me that you don't find her hot. What? Would you, <laughs> Why would, you, you would, would you not would you not cut off a uh, a finger to be with Daisy Ridley? No, no, no. She's not to be honest, looking. no. I don't really see what's like. I don't think any human being in the world is worth chopping off a fi- a, a, a limb for. You've clearly never played Assassin's Creed. To be fair, they, they fixed that. Yeah, but yes, to be Creed. fair, they, they do it so they have a really cool way of killing people, not so yeah. they can get bones. Also, it's a game, to be fair. <laughs> well, we thank you, Tony. Such a insight. Oh, fuck. Randy Newman joining the podcast there. Brief moment. Right. Voice. Okay, so I think we've established that I'm right and you're wrong. What do you think in the comments? Please let us know. 
unless it's against my opinion. Or you're don't watching. post it. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Oh man! If anyone actually lasts this long, I'm really you know, you're you're top dollar. If he lasted a... this long, comment Ebola. It's been a pretty good podcast, actually. It's a pretty good first episode. Most people are really stale on their first episode. We've already covered, like, fucking everything. To do with Snapchat. Plenty more content to come, guys. <laughs> yeah, this right. is right. We'll have content to last all of, what, a month? Oh, uh, yeah. This podcast, this one fucking episode could probably be a year of listening. But that's all for today. Thank you for listening to The Weed Podcast. I was your host, Cheesy Lemon. And, uh, I was the unfortunate victim of a rape, bit mm-hmm. monster. And, uh, of course, at the very bottom of the barrel is uh, Tommy. What did I do, sorry? Exactly. <laughs> you were just my fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you around, dudes. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, don't say bye. So, <laughs> so shit. You had to ruin it on such a negative <laughs> note. See ya. Oh, see ya. <laughs>